This is the Providence Red Road, an access road for thousands of residents living at Providence and Peters Hall. But on Thursday, the stockpiling of some 30,000 tons of material caused damages to this roadway. Since Thursday, contractors have been mobilized and are conducting emergency repairs here so that this roadway can once again become operable. On Friday morning, we came out here to see exactly what those repair works are looking like. Now, the material that was stockpiled belongs to the Ministry of Public Works, and it is believed that this heavy amount of material contributed to what happened here on the roadway. So in addition to the repair works that are ongoing, the ministry is also working to move some of those materials so that the pressure, so to speak, on the road here would be relieved. Minister of Public Works Juan Edgehill said that repair works would continue until the situation is rectified. On Friday, he visited the area and provided this update. Um, I'm unable to tell you a timeline because I know somebody's interested how many days this can take and how soon we're going to get that uh, fixed. Uh, we're trying to move as fast as possible. You will notice that we start bringing in sand to do the compaction. What we did, we moved loom closer to the location so once we're finished compacting the sand, we can start moving the loom to spot. We have the crusher run right here and then it's a matter of getting the, the road repaid. The cost will be determined by what we need to do. Remember, this was not a work that was designed to be executed, so you know you've measured, you've got to go so deep. When we lift up these tapes, we will get a full understanding of what needs to be done there. What we are doing right now is on the main carriageway. We will have to look and see the extent. Of course, at least for the past 24 hours or so, thousands of persons have been inconvenienced because, as I mentioned before, this is a main access road for thousands of persons living in Providence and Peters Hall. Still, Edgel said blame isn't being cast as yet. Well, I don't know if we should go to the blame game as yet. As yet? I don't know, I don't know if we should go to the blame game as yet because of, you can only blame uh, when you believe something was intentionally done. We have been using this facility before to stockpile uh, material and we have had equivalent um, tonnage here before. But it would appear that the constant use would have destabilized the, um, the, the, the soil. So I don't think any engineer in the Ministry of Public Works or any manager in the Ministry of Public Works anticipated that we will have this because we have been using this area for stockpile. We've had the equivalent amount. Um, it's just an unfortunate event. Reporting for the newsroom from Providence Red Road, I am Fishani Ragabir.